Hello, engineers, developers, and friends. I'm Ted Briotto with the Better Community Design here once again at NVIDIA GCC with Asus and with Bob. Bob, thank you yeah. so much for joining me again. Yeah, thank you for being here. I appreciate yeah. you being here. Tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here with the PE2100N. Yeah, actually, we are so excited because this is our uh, NVIDIA HS already, the high end and uh, edge rate. AI GPU computer. And also for this uh, AG computer, actually we have uh, two showcase. Okay. It's uh, all about the Vision Language model, the VOM. So you can see that it's a perfect fit for let the machine have a vision capability and uh, you can utilize a native language to have an interaction. And also you can utilize this kind of use case or scenario for smart city or even a smart transportation. Yeah, it's an incredible facial recognition system in the demo yeah, there. Yeah. Can you tell me exactly how that's working through the camera and everything? Yes, actually we, we put uh, two showcase. The first one is about a uh, Nano OWL. And uh, this kind of uh, VOM is about, you can utilize, uh, you, you know, you just put some native language to let the model knew what kind of object need to detect. Yeah. And then you can use the camera or other uh, sensor to do the object detection directly, yeah. Really and cool. then another one is uh, we can let the machine to learn the video content. So you can check a, a machine that what kind of scenario or what kind of event will happen. Then he will tell you, he will tell you. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so it looks like on this other one we're detecting a fire. Yes. That's, occur that's yeah. occurring and then it is triggering emergency response? Yes, yes. Wow, that's really, really cool. And then utilize a P. 2100 and actually you have a default for PoE pole. So it's an ideal fit to command the IP camera. Wow. Or even for the industrial usage, you can utilize this to command the industrial camera, the PoE industrial camera yeah. and the IT, IP camera. So you can no matter use, utilize this for the intelligent video analytics or machine vision. So obviously this is this would be important in the industrial space, but yes. also in the smart city. I mean, everyone, we're in California right now. Everyone yeah, knows yeah, the yeah. importance of fire detection and things like that. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, how this sort of rugged edge AI contributes to the smart city ecosystem? Yes, actually, you, you also for a uh, smart city or even a transportation, you can put the P twenty one hundred and to a raw side. We so call a raw side unit. So you can utilize this to do the law enforcement traffic control or even a V2X. And also, even you can put it in vehicle. So you, you can utilize uh, a, a benefit by NVIDIA HS or RING. You can do the autonomous driving. It's a really, it's a really compact form factor. Yeah. It fit just about anywhere, but there's a lot of power there. Yeah. Can you talk us through some of the tech specs? Yes, actually, this is a very robust design. So you can see that it's a finished, totally finished design. It's a white temperature support and also white DC input and also anti shock and vibe. And then we feature a lot of industrial features set. So no matter, no matter the industrial needed a serial port or just like I said, the camera needed a PoE port and also a lot of a USB port for high speed. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of times when we talk about Edge AI, we're talking about the importance of low latency. Are there yeah. other advantages? Actually, the privacy, the security is also matter. So that's the reason why a lot of customers, they are inquiring us to provide a solution to let, let their AI from the cloud to the edge. And also we can provide a very high throughput platform still. So that's the reason why our customer can do their idea, their edge AI at the field side. That's spectacular. Thank you yeah. so much, Bob. Really Thank appreciate you. that. Yeah. Folks, don't go anywhere. We've got lots more coming to you from NVIDIA GPC. And thanks to Asus for joining us today.